Welcome back. We are outside in the Good For Utah Garden. It's a little chilly out here. We're talking tree trimming today with Arbor Works. Lauren is an arborist and a tree trimming specialist. What, what do you do? I work with trees. Trim trees, remove you, trees, plant trees. trees, consult on trees. Yeah. Well, if, if you're not that savvy about trees, you need someone like this to tell you what to do. So we have some trees behind us right now. Mm -hmm. How do you know what trees we're going to start to trim? Um, I just look at what's going on with the tree. We kind of focus on the three D's, which would be dead, diseased, or damaged branches. In this case, these are really young adolescent trees, so there's not a lot of any of that yet. These look healthy. I've had some trees before healthy. that look like there were some bugs or something in part of the limb that needed to be taught. Yeah, probably a lot of environmental stresses on plant life these days. So what we find is a lot of trees have a lot of bugs and diseases. So where do we start if we're looking at a tree? Where do we start with the trimming? Um, what we like to do is first uh, analyze the shape of the tree, if there's problematic growth or anything that's dead in the tree, and we start with that, and then from there with diseased branches. I've taken like a saw and maybe made some bad decisions right. <laughs> before <laughs> with some of the trees in my backyard. I've, I've what are do they? What yeah. are the common mistakes? Well, common mistake is if you have a branch that'll be growing into your walkway, which would eventually hit you in the face or into your house or um, a power line, people like to cut that off in the middle of the branch. And what that does is creates five times the branch is growing back. So all the hormones hit that dead end and then sprout more branch. Ooh, trees so have hormones? Yeah, trees have hormones. That's how they grow. They're like chicks. That's right. Right, Like okay. human beings. Um, well, so you want to cut it off then, show me where. Well, you'd go back to the next, you'd go back to the next lead and cut it there. So this Bradford pear would probably be a good example to show you. Okay. So on the Bradford pear, instead of cutting a branch off maybe right here in the middle, we'd come back to the lead and cut it proper in the collar. I didn't know that was called a lead. Okay, so yeah. that's right, like right where the tree is. So this would be kind of a proper cut. So this collar will grow over that dead branch now and protect that. And there's all this antimicrobial activity, cellular tissue in this area that will protect that branch where you cut it. Big words. That's what you get with an arborist. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, so tell me about Arbor Works and, and what, what you guys do. So we've been in business for 20 years. Mostly right here in Salt Lake. We cover Park City, uh, Davis County, Weaver County, and we just specialize in helping people plant the right tree for the right place, how to take care of the tree. We do organic uh, treatments on, on root zones and soil ecology, and then we make sure the tree is healthy and has good structure. Oh, I, and I love trees. I love tre Is now the time to trim, or when, when should we be trimming trees? Depends on the variety of tree. Every tree is different. Fruit trees typically want to be trimmed in the winter time, but we do trees all year round. Uh, there's certain trees where we will not uh, trim in the summertime, like a river birch has a really odoriferous sap that attracts borers, so oftentimes we'll wait for a, that particular variety to trim in the wintertime. Magnolias don't like to be trimmed, so we don't do a lot of trimming on magnolias. I get really so careful forth. about the odoriferous things. I really do. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> where are you guys located? How do people get a hold of you? Um, well, our website's Arbor Works. Okay. And then they could also call uh, our office and just Google us and you'll find our number there. All right. I learned so much today. I'm so happy that you're on the show. Thank you Glad so much, Lauren. Thank we'll you. put all the information on our website and, uh, as you said, arborworks.com. Yeah. So you said. All right. All right. Coming up next, we're going to do a little mini s'mores in the kitchen. You may have to come in and take a little okay. bite. You, had, little. you did a great job out here with trees. Now you can come have a taste. Perfect. All right. We'll be right back. It's tempting all of us here, Reagan. And still ahead, a local group of hairstylists are using their time and talents to make a difference for the homeless community. We'll show you what they're doing.